Mr. Steve here, and I may have just made Blender better. The answer was just staring us all in the face to turn the object cutter into wire so it looks proper and you can see your cut in the viewport. I want you guys to know just how hard I worked on this add-on for everyone. A few moments later. Seriously? Just jump on over to the Patreon. You don't even have to do a free membership sign up. It's an open to the public post. If you do find any value while you're on the Patreon, you can sub up, you can do a free member. So as it stands right now, I use the Serpents add-on creator, which is on Super Hive Market to add to a panel, which is this panel. And if by chance there is an active object, and that is true, then we'll create a row and say, hey, on that row, we're gonna create three little buttons right here. And these three little buttons are gonna only exist if the active modifier is a Boolean. And if it is, you can show all this stuff, which would be set to wire, textured, or set the Boolean. Now down here, very simple, I created an operator with an enum property and inside of this property, it's just got textured and wire. I could add more if you guys want it, but this is just pretty basic and the enum property will grab the uh, textured or wire. And it does that here by labeling this string value based on the enum selection. And now this is the real magic and this is where my pure genius came in and we have an operator and i was like how can i set the active object to have the modifier which is created right here and just pretend none of this is here because i just had the operator trying to create the modifier looping over selected objects and i couldn't tell which one was going to end up uh, getting named the target basically the boolean target and which one was going to get the modifier so then I thought, you know what, let's just store this as a variable, okay? And so the active object name is stored right here, super simple. And then I reset the variable each time because one thing for sure, that object isn't going to stay that name. You keep, uh, you know, doing different things with the same button. So then I loop over those objects. I say, hey, for this name, if it's not equal to the active object, then come over here based on these objects that are in this loop and set the apt active object target. And then I have a pointer property here. Now, if none of this makes sense, don't worry. It's just grabbing these two objects and telling them what to do. And then after this is true and I set that object, well, then it says, okay, continue, but only if this condition is true also, and it is not the active object between the two selected. Set the display type, if it's true, to wire. And then we have the magic right here where you can shift D this, grab your active object, set to wire. If you don't want that, obviously you just set it back to solid if it's the active object because that's how Blender works. Thank you for watching, and that is all. Go pick it up on the Patreon, follow the links. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.